Hello there, welcome back. We are going to continue where we left off. We uh, are finally starting to clean up, uh, you know, the rest of the British Isles. That is basically what we're going to keep on doing during this uh, this session. Uh, who is this ruler? Oh, the dude up here. Well, the thing is, we're going to attack him pretty soon anyways, I think, so that's fine. Uh, as I said, we're probably just going to do something very simple here. We're going to do a Holy War for the Kingdom. We can use an Invasion War against another Kingdom. So, again, it doesn't really matter too much. They have 10,000 troops. Barry, Frisia. Uh, that's actually King of Tiny Frisia? Well, we'll conquer Frisia down the line anyways. Uh, but I think we're going to do this simply because it'll remove the biggest obstacle. Because this guy tends to ally a lot of the people that I want to conquer. So if we just get rid of Alba, we've done a lot of the work already. They have a slightly more troops than us. Money-wise, we do kind of have to wait a little bit. I want at least 300 before we begin, especially seeing this will be a long war. And I can't guarantee that I'll be able to instantly, you know, uh, siege. Our numbers are, you know, jumping about as usual. Yes, they're doing their jobs. And were they peasants? <laughs> Uh, compassionate or callous? Uh, let it keep arrogant. Uh, I guess that's fine. Honestly, a character that I'm not planning to do anything with, having uh, uh, minus ten percent is scheme secrecy. That would be actually beneficial to me in the you know long run. Although I probably won't have anything to do with her. It's still you know a consideration to make. Children like guardians, my daughter, I uh, guess the wife can do th some of the uh, helping. I have a chancellor that's... That's interesting. Do we not have a better one? I have a guest that's better. No, I actually do not. That's interesting. I... My almost 50 learning called Chaplain is converting the lands. My steward. That I definitely have a better one. Uh, my cousin and vassal. It does. Did this guy take the position through... I can't fire him until 90, in 5 years. I think this guy might have taken it through a... Uh, favor. That I have forgotten about. I can't, you know, get rid of him. Uh, these guys are also war now that I remember, so we should take this opportunity to just, you know, start it. Um, again, some of these troops are, as you see, attacked as allies' military strength and their military strength, so I think it will be fine. Uh, I just need to make sure that I siege the capital, among others, so I basically can get uh, my troops, you know, get money by ransoming. We'll raise all our boys up here, it'll take me uh, one and a half months. Then you can go there, you can go there, and you can go there. And I hope that the siege stack is the one I'm sending down here. I should probably just check. Nope, that's not a siege stack. That's not a siege stack. This is the siege stack, so let's have you go to the capital. Let's have you go there. This is basically just Levites and some knights. This is the least valuable army out of the armies I have. And my steward died. I wanted to switch him out. And he, you know, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I should also probably kill this army, the Viking Adventurers, simply because they, um, uh, they're attacking, they're attacking a title that I am currently trying to, you know, take. So if they t take it, I'm going to have to fight another war, which, you know, it's not something I would, you know, enjoy. If I can avoid it, I'll fight as few wars as possible for, you know, the land that I'm about to take. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have these guys meet up with these guys. Once these guys are done sieging, we're going to move them up to Athol, I think. Then we're going to just beat these armies. Here we go. I won the siege, but we didn't, you know, kidnap anyone, sadly. Uh, we took our foe hostage. That's actually good. Did we take anyone else? Get a weak hook favor on this man. Uh, I do not need a weak hook favor on you. 
And he wants to give me a weak hook favor to leave, so... We're just gonna enforce the mons here. Uh, I'll I'll, all titles held by Calic rulers are seized, and my any also true rulers are vassalized. So I should get all the titles here. But let's enforce the mons. Looks like we did. And as you can see here, because the war against uh, Moray, uh, I'm gonna have to take over said war. And I'm gonna have to deal with that. And apparently the kingdom of uh, Alba here moved to the Isles. So this could be funny once it shatters. Um, but that was pretty quick, pretty painless. That's not what we'd like to see. I can all fully impress and count Orm. Why? Oh, familiar Kinslayer. Uh, I'll deal with that later. Right now, if, like, it's 20% chance that he does not, you know, enjoy being taken prisoner. So, for now, I won't. If that makes sense. Um... Let's see, we're going to grant them by Duchi. You have decent stats. I think this will be correct. I hope. Ah, one more. There we are. We already have someone holding uh, Luthien and a little bit of Northumbria, so I'm going to grant him this one. He actually holds parts of Albany too, now that I look, about, look at it. Quite a big part of Albany. So let's just give him the rest. Uh, one, two, okay. Again, I'm making dukes that could be troublesome, but over time I'll be able to either create weak hooks or get weak hooks through, you know, family members and hopefully be able to, you know, sort out the potential problem that way uh, with forced petition. But for now, as you can see here, my son and friend is the heir to the Aldom of Kent, which is considered... Which will be a problem, let's be honest. My nephew... If I give my son land, will he still inherit it? I think so, so I can't really give him land. My nephew does not stand to inherit anything. Let's give him the Isles. Is it just these? These two? That was Argyll as well. There we are. And I think I'll just make him, you know, the Isles and Moray. Just give him both. Moray is actually quite big. You now I look, have a look at it. Uh, that should be the land handed out. But as you can see, the inheritance is problematic. My main heir is going to get... And two more titles. Um... Kingdom of North Sea, Kingdom of Norway, Kingdom of England, Yaldom of Essex, and I think the capital. So, I need to go through the law. They might have changed it since last time I played, which is sad. It's going to get Wiss, Glut, Chestershire, and Essex. Hmm. Yes, once we, you know, research public works. Might have to go hereditary rule and petition. Equal division of titles. Uh, really want that. Let's have a look here. Scandinavian elective equal law. Can I put Scandinavian elective equal law under, you know, the dukedom here? Go on to your confederate petition at law. The navy and elective. You're a war. Uh, I might just have to add skin navy and elective to... You know, the duke title. And that should solve my problems. Because I'm the... <clears throat> I will be the biggest duke. Within that duke title. So I should be able to choose who it goes to. Uh, but yeah, I might have to just do that. And that should solve all my problems. Honestly. Let's just have you guys see the rules. Um, Crusade for a Magna? Uh, Catholic rulers invigorated by a call to arms of Pope Lucius they started to gather a large host of zealots to wage a war crusade against all enemies of the cross in Romagna. One more, more fanatics are drawn in every day in what will soon be a mighty army of the cross assembled to bring war upon our lands. We can only pray the tear. 
The courage and fortitude you standing against the tide of infidels. So are they have they this already started? Oh she said fifteen months. Okay, this could be troublesome. Uh, I need to end this war. Can I redirect? No. Um, I guess we're gonna have to kill the Pope. Because the Pope is currently, you know, causing me problems. And I don't mean kill as in assassinate, I mean kill as in we take his titles and make him homeless. That seems to be the only, you know, reasonable thing to do. So, this, these guys are actually proper troops, these guys are adventurers, which means they should die pretty quickly. And they did. So with that, I should now just focus on resieging these two provinces. And hopefully, you know, end this war before I lose all my money. Can I ransom you guys? No, I cannot. So let's take the piety and the stress loss. And we've got an achievement again, the dreadful one. Uh, who's the other area? Army of Amsterdam? They're allied to me. Uh, let's split off an army here. Let's see, split off new army. I want the onagers and enough Levi's to support them to basically split off here. Do not want the bowmen. Let's do this. Uh, it's a 1300 men army. I should be fine. They're basically just gonna siege. So I'll try and protect them. And then I'll have this army with some help from this army to go around and try and kill the enemies. The child of my dynasty. Start to get into those events again. That's gonna be annoying. I might have just sent one stack here to its death. Uh Inga seems to have been having a difficult time early as V. She sneaked out early. I was not seen for the entire rest of the evening, so. She's impatient? Uh, shy or gluttonous. Uh, I think we're going to go with impatient there. That seems to be the best, you know, option under the circumstances. We captured my foe. Why do you keep on getting people to follow you on adventures? You, I think this is your third or fourth adventure even? And uh, honestly, I don't get why they, you know, have chosen you as the, the Lord and Savior. Do I want the money? No. Do I want to enforce demands? Yes. She'll pay zero. She loses Viking Exile. That's actually a pretty good, you know, bonus. Minus the plus 10 to the minimum battle roll. Uh, we'll just enforce demands here. Should be fine. We'll disband all the armies. Uh, we'll try and save up a little bit of money before, you know, the Pope Man decides that, oh, you are a problem. So the Kingdom of Romagna would be, yeah. Wouldn't be a lot of my land, but it would be a decent chunk of my land. So I guess our, you know, goal here will be once this war starts, uh, we need to start butchering their. We really need to start butchering their smaller armies. I was gonna see the Pope has three thousand. Uh, a bunch of smaller armies that will be running around, but it's still gonna be annoying as heck. They, yeah, that's good, Grandmaster. You're bringing your. So five champions to fight. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, they have a huge uh, troop advantage on this, so... I'm gonna have to, like, focus on just beating troops. Which sounds bad. Let's see. Mine's about legacy. Latest work of my vassal, another poem. But man does not hope to rest when tired, in glorious memory, with hearts desired, and hope only for memory's grace, so that the whole world remembers the face. Uh, I can see that this is truly heartfelt. Hmm. I actually haven't been attacked in a crusade in this uh, iteration of Crusader Kings, so... Watch your fighting, my share. I get 18 gold. <laughs> uh, I'm pledged as defender. If we are victorious, I'm going to receive a part of the war just according to my war contribution. Okay. So, currently, my contribution is not good, apparently, even though you know they're attacking my lands and I have pledged the most men. 
but it seems like I will have to just aim at stack wiping them as much as possible. Uh, use the captured foes. The only benefit that I can see is that there's a lot of dukes, a lot of counts, and basically a lot of how to put this higher level enemies. And what I'm gonna have to hope for is that they focus on Romagna, which is their crusade goal. And don't start messing around in England. Because if that happens, this could also be a problem for me. Because if that happens, um, and I need to start shipping my troops back and forth, they'll be able to make doom stacks, and then I can only surrender. Which is gonna hurt us a lot. Which is in 43 days. That means we should you know, get ready. So, again, what I'm going to do is just wade straight into the Popery's capital and try and capture the Popery. Because I have no better option, honestly. I don't know. I just realized I could probably just have slapped a... Uh... I should probably just have slapped armies on top of his capital already. Uh, the Hordes of Infidels rallied by Pope Lucius. Isn't this the Norse Pope? Of course he's the first to call a cattle crusade on the Norse. <laughs> uh, these savage warriors, clearly inspired by Loki, will ravage our lands and slaughter our people without mercy if we do not stop them. The good of all us are In Romagna, we must provide. Uh, they divided some money. I suppose, uh, rally the troops. There are my onagers, let's go. I will have you placed there. I will have you placed here for support. And honestly, I should use these two armies to just hunt down the Pope's army. Ah, uh, let's siege this. Let's see here. There are troops up here, there are no troops in Norway yet. Why are you independent? Or you're not independent, you just shine yellow for some reason. Let's see, the Pope here has a 775. We should be able to capture him, if we're lucky, that is. And it looks like the armies are actually attaching to me, which is good. So let's take this army and start, you know, destroying the tiny. No, 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 I did not want to bring both. Jesus Christ. I hate that function. And that threw me off, so now these guys are going to be attacked. They're not now, though. Oh, they are. Let's go ahead. So used to when you, like, split off an army, it's its own army, if you will. And that just ended up throwing me off so bad. I guess we have finished the research of public works. Good. We can now develop further. Let's go with Ledger. And... That should be good. We have beaten the Pope's army. We did not capture anyone, I think. Nope. So, let's take you guys back to Rome. And once again, I did not want both. I pressed once. Why do you pick both armies? Well, with the amount of troops we have here, I should be able to start, you know, sieging some other places too. Uh, wherever I go, Humfried uh, Totoli is a noble woman, is sure to follow. Look in her eyes, the words on her lips. Uh, I know exactly what she's after. How sweet, but no. She's trying to seduce me. Uh, we don't have any bastards, so... Uh, I guess for now we'll just do this. She had good perks, I would probably have gone for it, but she doesn't, so there's no need. And again here... All of these armies have stuck to the wrong army. I have been overwhelmed by stress. My sister died. Died from her wounds. So I should probably have a look over on the northern parts of the land. Looks like we're good here. Looks like all the fighting is going to happen in Italy. Or, oh, you know, they're still sailing, and I'm going to get bamboozled in a second. Uh, I know I want to do this, because they are attach they're attaching just randomly, I feel like. Can we, can we fight these guys? They should have a debark penalty. Yeah. 
There we go. That's actually the troops from Jerusalem. The recent death of my sister has left her loved ones grieving. So I can, you know, plan her funeral here, but um, I don't have the money. I'm fighting a crusade here. Uh, and these guys want freedom. You shall have it in death. So again, I'm going to have to send troops here to deal with the these guys. And holy crap, they have a lot of men. I've converted most of you. Why do you have... Yes, because I just conquered uh, Scotland. That bit me in the arms. Okay, so the Popery here. If I'm to surrender. It's gonna lose. We're gonna lose all that. If I'm to enforce demands. We're gonna get piety and some other things. Uh, I need to capture the Pope. That is currently the you know. That's just how things are. I need to capture the Pope, I need to win this siege quick. And then I need to send my army back to England. I could, you know, stand down and then re-raise it, but that would cause me some major pain. Where did my backup go? I don't have enough soldiers to split off, so I guess this army is doomed. Oh, maybe not. It's actually a big army. I thought it was just me, th my 3,000 men that were there, but... Yeah, it's actually doing things pretty well there, I have to admit. See, it's this one. Uh, I'm going to take these two armies and temporarily send them back home. Well, we can finish this siege first. Honestly, we can finish this siege too at the speed things are going. Uh, I just need to, you know, beat these guys up enough to get a white piece. Because if I can't, I'm going to end up in, you know, massive trouble. Money is running out. <sighs> Those Catholic rebels. They colluded with the Pope. They had to have. <laughs> oh, that's just uh that's just annoying. We have we're getting, you know, a positive war score, but there's a lot of men here. We did not capture the Pope, I believe. Oh, we captured the Pope. That's not enough to enforce demands. Uh, he's actually valued at zero for, you know, war score. So, how much are you worth? You're worth 200. But with this, uh, I'm going to make a doom stack. And we're going to go clean up the armies here in the north. And hopefully make some money so I can hire mercenaries to, you know, deal oh, with the situation at home. Let's see how this goes. This goes really bad. This goes really bad. We are leaving. Uh, as the eyes met, uh, I'll give her a good tumble. Queen Puri of Denmark. Uh, no, my heart remains pure. This is just such a bad situation right now. I'm probably gonna just have to surrender. Um. I'm going to send this army up north, though, to deal with the rebels. I'm going to have to, otherwise I'm going to lose Scotland, too. So we'll do this, and then hopefully these guys will be able to stay out of trouble. And once I can, again, start picking off the... I should, should just... Like, my plan worked. I captured the Pope. That was my goal, in a sense, to, you know, end it. But I messed up because, um, well, I messed up because I thought that by capturing the Pope I could end the crusade, but I couldn't. I should have just executed him at that moment. You guys will be helpful for my stress levels, at least. Is this a ki Pope's kid? It's the Pope's grandchild, okay. Do you have any living members left? You have five. Guess we're going hunting. Because, you know, pettiness is, you know, something I aspire to. Uh, but we're going to end this there and we're going to continue next time. Uh, I'm probably going to lose the crusade. I should be able to, like, mop up the uh, rebels in, 
and Scotland, and then I'm going to focus on dismantling the Pope after that, once we mop up Scotland and Ireland. So thank you for watching, and I do hope that you enjoyed this.